Hi, I'm Kinkas and I'm a Synth DIY guy. Today we're building the third of the Electrosmith modules, the 2144 four-pole low-pass filter. Designed around the classic 2144 filter chip, this VCF sounds really good and features one volt proactive response for use as a sine wave oscillator, as well as resonant CV input and two audio inputs. In the kit box, you get the panel, the PCB, the power cable, the jacks, the power header, mounting screws, pots, knobs, headers, and the pre-soldered SMD submodule. Assembly is pretty much the same as the two previous modules, the VCA and the VCO. First, install the power header, then assemble and solder the headers for the submodule. Now, remove the submodule and start installing the pots and jacks, not soldering anything yet. Place the panel so the hardware goes through their holes. Tighten the nuts and turn the module around to solder. Be extra careful not to burn the submodule headers with your iron. Now snap on the submodule with the trimmer facing the bottom. Snap on the knobs, check the power header for shorts and plug it in to calibrate and test. The only calibration needed is the volt per octave response, which is adjusted with a single trim pot. So let's check it out in action, shall we? First, I'm going to plug in a saw wave from the Electrosmith 3340 analog VCO into one of the inputs here of the 2144 four pole low pass filter. And we'll take the filter output into the oscilloscope, Mordex data, and then from the data to my little ST mix here. So that's that saw wave we saw last time. And here's the filter with no resonance. I like that it closes completely so you can actually use it as a VCA too if you want. position lets the entire saw wave through. Let's hear it with a little resonance. A little more. Nice, nice to hear those harmonics ring now. More resonance. Now they really jump out. The harmonics really jump out now. Cool, let's give it a square wave now. If I put resonance all the way to the top, I can even remove the input here and our filter becomes a sine wave oscillator all by itself. And I can send the sine wave to the frequency input here again have fun with <laughs> FM So 
why don't we send in some white noise now? Take white noise from the Erica synth modulator into, and this thing has two inputs, so I could actually mix two separate sources into the filter. No volume control for those, but you can control them at the source. And uh, let's hear that white noise filtered with no resonance first. Now with resonance at 11 o'clock. Resonance at 2 o'clock. Colder, right? More polar. Resonance all the way high. Now I'm going to send a low frequency oscillator to the frequency input. Nice sweep. And now to the resonance. There is a resonance CV input here. That's a cool effect too. Make it a little faster. If you do use this as an oscillator, you can use that resonance input to excite the filter. Like that, see? It acts like as if you had a VCA. It's not an actual VCA. You're just silencing or exciting the filter. Why right, don't we check it out in the context of a sequence now? Pitch CV to the oscillator. Gate CV to my no coast contour generator and we'll send that contour output to the filter frequency here. Now we'll take off that LFO and we'll plug the saw wave back into the filter now. And again I'm not using EVCA, see so this filter is closing all the way. attenuate that a little bit. I use my patch pal attenuator here. Sounds very robust with no resonance at all. that noise in. Lower. 
for basses and stuff. Noise out. Square wave in. Pulse. Ooh, that's nice. Rubberized knobs feel really good. The pots feel very high quality. Very nice to sweep. Thanks for watching. If you like, please subscribe to my channel and watch some more videos. And join me on Patreon if you want to help me keep doing this. See you soon and stay noisy.